Organizations that strive to be more customer and employee focused are quickly adopting the practice of journey mapping. But as more and more people with a diverse background are getting into the practice, this brings a new set of challenges. In this video, you're going to learn about a tool called Journey Tiles, which will help you to successfully guide people who have less experience with journey mapping around some of the common pitfalls and help you to encourage the less outspoken people to still contribute to the process. Let the show begin. Hi, I'm Mark and welcome to the Service Design Show. This show is all about empowering you with the most effective skills and strategies that help you to design services that win the hearts of people and business. And it won't surprise you that one of those skills is the practice of journey mapping. And in this episode, I'm going to hand over the conversation to Lucas Alamos from Sydney, Australia, who will guide you through a tool called Journey Tiles. If you have a service design tool, method, or framework that you'd like to share with the service design community, just send me a message. That's exactly what Lucas did, and now we're here. So let's take a look at Journey Tiles. Lucas, take it away. Hello there, my name is Lucas from Musketeers, an employee experience design agency here in beautiful Sydney. Today I want to share with you a tool called Journey Tiles. It's a tool that's going to help you and your team to be able to do journey mapping better, especially with people who, um, who aren't very experienced in design. What I want to cover today is what are some of the problems that we've encountered working with, uh, with organizations and journey mapping. And uh, I want to walk you through an example of, of, of what it's like to, to work with the journey tiles. So let's get started. Okay, let's talk about why we created journey tiles. What were some of the challenges that we were facing when we were journey mapping? We love journey mapping in our organization. We use it all the time when we're helping organizations to map out a particular stage of, of the employee journey. Uh, think about onboarding or, or performance management or when a, 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 an employee leaves the organization. So we use journey mapping uh, together with clients all the time um, and, and we love it. But one of the uh, there were two key issues that we've encountered um, that, that led us to, to build the journey tiles. The first one is that design is becoming super popular across all organizations and, and you're having a whole lot of people um, jumping in and giving it a go, uh, which is great, but they don't have uh, a background in design necessarily. And so um, you, you end up getting a, a number of different uh, common mistakes. So uh, one of them as an example with journey mapping is that uh, people get stuck mapping a process as opposed to mapping experiences. And so basically you end up losing a whole lot of empathy from, from, from uh, the journey map and, and, and you lose a whole lot of understanding of, of what the experience is like for, for the users. So that's one issue that we wanted to tackle. New people to design who don't necessarily have um, a lot of depth in, in how to journey map. Uh, so we wanted to, to solve that issue. The other issue is when we were working uh, with, with clients in a workshop setting and we've got a whole lot of people together, whenever you've got people together, you end up with group dynamics. And so uh, what we would end up seeing is that there would be someone at the front who's doing a lot more of the talking. There's many people who are kind of sitting around not contributing much. They don't want to look stupid. They don't want to say the wrong thing because it's not something that they've done before. And so we, we wanted to, um, to create something to solve both of these issues. And so Journey Tiles helped us to create something with uh, a lot more guidance. So people who, who don't necessarily know much about journey mapping could, could work through, through the exercise a, a lot faster and better. But we also wanted to create a tool that increased the amount of empathy and made the, the process of journey mapping a lot more efficient and effective. So let's have a look at the journey tiles. Journey tiles are a set of three modular tiles that can be printed and used to map a journey more efficiently and effectively. And this is what they look like. 
and um, there is a beginning tile, a middle tile and a closing tile. And you can basically print as many of those as you need to make the journey however long or short as you need it to be. So let's go through the different parts of a journey tile. At the very top, you can write down the, the project that you're working on. Then you can see in the middle there's a circle which is where you capture each of the stages of your journey. And then you've got five main areas across across the, the tile where you can where you've got some guidance around what to be capturing in, in as you look at this stage. The first one is activities. What, what's the user doing what, at this point of the journey? Um, what actions are, are they are they taking? Then we've got goals and desires where we want to capture what does the user want? What do they need? Uh, what are they trying to achieve? Then we, are, we want to capture what are the tools and resources that the user is, is interacting with at this point of the journey. Then we, have, we capture the emotions that they are experiencing at this point of the journey. And lastly, we capture the risks and opportunities where it gives us an opportunity to reflect on, on this point of the journey and see if we have any insights that we need to take into account, any risks that, uh, for a negative experience and any opportunities for how we can make this part of the journey uh, better. When we're working with a group to complete the journey tiles, there are four main steps that you need to follow. The first one is to create the user. And for that, we use Lego. One of the reasons that we use Lego is that uh, it builds empathy. It's an opportunity to connect with the, the user that we're mapping the journey for. And so what we do is we bring everybody together in the group, we give them pieces, Lego pieces, and we ask them to discuss characteristics of the, of the, of the user. So in our example of a new hire, we, we connect with the fact that um, they, they don't know anything about the organization, who they're working with. We discuss if it's a, if it's a graduate, that they're new to, to, to working life, so we, we connect with the user and we, we put together the user with pieces that best represent uh, what that user looks like. So that's step one. Once we've got a character and everybody's connected with that, we go into step two. Step two is to name the stages of the journey. And in our example of the first day, we've named them very simply just for the sake of the example. Stage one, arriving. Stage two, during the first day. And lastly, stage three, leaving. And we want to name these stages of the journey very quickly. We don't want to get stuck on, on a, a lot of the details because, because these are modular, we can just add new steps, new stages if we need to. But the whole, the whole uh, purpose of what we're trying to do is to name them quickly and to get small groups working on these, uh, which is what step three is. So typically we want the small groups to be about, to be about two to three people and uh, we give them one of these journey tiles for that, for that small group to complete. So then they can all break up and they're all working at the same time on a different part of the journey. One of the things that's really important with a group dynamic is to provide opportunities for everybody to contribute. And people are a lot more comfortable to share their opinions and their thoughts when they're in a smaller group than in a big group. Um, so that's, that's step three, to, to break up and to, and to complete their, their journey tells. Step four is where we come back together and we walk through the whole journey and everybody can contribute. So let's now get into completing one of these. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so let's fill in the first journey tile. So we've gotten together in our small team. We've been given the, the, first, um, the first stage to, to fill in. We've got the little uh, user that, that we created earlier. And so then we start discussing and we start walking through our user through um, this, this first part of their experience of the first day, uh, which is arriving. So in our uh, example, we've just said um, that they need to uh, drive or park uh, 
or, or use public transport. Um, they need to walk up and use the, the intercom to get into the, the building in, in our specific example. Um, they need to talk uh, with the reception to, to let them know that, that they're there and they need to meet with the manager. And so those are some of the activities that, that our user needs to do and it's a good, good idea to put them in the centre there. Um, and so what are some of the goals and desires that, um, that, our, that our user is, is needing to do? They, they want to look good. They want to not just look physically, but they want to uh, not be making mistakes. They want to uh, arrive on time. And um, they, they want to basically start working. They want to start, uh, get things moving in, in their first, uh, or, or for one of the first few jobs for, for our user. And one of the other key things that they want to do, is they want to see where they're sitting uh, and working. What are some of the tools that they have to, to deal with? Um, if they're uh, going to park, um, they've got to um, drive there or, or, or get there with public transport. Um, they need to use the intercom to, to meet up. Um, they need to um, use the instructions email for, for their first day that, that we would have sent them earlier. And they need to sign in uh, when they get into to reception. What kind of emotions are they feeling? Uh, of course, they're going to be anxious. Uh, they're going to be curious about what, what's in store, uh, curious and excited, um, but they're going to be obviously nervous as well about what, what the day will, will hold and how they will do. Will they be able to do a great job? So then when we think about the risks and opportunities, um, and, and in here you can also capture insights. Um, and so we, we identified that, hey, uh, this is a new hire, but we're getting them to sign in. Uh, so we're treating new hires as a guest because they don't have their pass or, or, or their, their login details to, to get into the building. Um, we're, we're treating them as a guest when they're really now part of the family. So that's an opportunity for us to look at. Um, we, can, we can let them know that there's parking in the building and we can give them a code. So that's, a, that's an opportunity um, and risk uh, a key risk is that they might not find somewhere to park if they're driving and that basically uh, the other risk is that they might feel that, um, that that very first experience is a little bit cold because in this building you have to go through an intercom where, where you'd normally use a pass. So that is how we complete the, the first the first uh, tile, our, our tile in our little group. So the next stage would be to get together with everybody else and bring, bring that together. Now that we're all back together in, as, a, as a bigger group, each, each small team can share and walk through what the experience is, what they believe the experience is like for, for their user, and you can walk them through and each small team can share in turn with the, with the rest of the, the bigger group. Uh, and this way, it's also an opportunity for, for the bigger group to add insights and to share uh, what, what they see as opportunities and risks and, and things that need, uh, what other things need to be considered. So that is how you use the journey tiles. I hope that that was useful for you. Download your copy at our website, wearemusketeers.com. Thank you. Have a great day. If you haven't played around with the journey tiles yet, don't wait too long. Just download them using the links in the description of this video. And if you have a service design tool, method or framework that you'd like to share with the service design community, just as Lucas did, just send me a message. Now, as a service design professional, of course, you need to keep learning about the latest tools that are coming out and how to use them effectively. That's why I've created this playlist for you with all the tools. So click this next video and I'll see you over there.